What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to bring you kind of a little speed farming tips and tricks. I know that I'm gonna add on a bonus tip as far as like speed running and upgrading this glyph as fast as hum humanly possible. Okay, it's been about seven, eight hours since the Abitur of Zir has gone live. And I have been playing nonstop. I only got my glyph to level seven after I've died a bunch because I'm a bad player and I'm going to kind of go over my tips and tricks here to just speed farm these and level this up the most efficient way possible or what is the best way to level this up and then I'm going to give you a bonus tip at the end. So we just finished a tier one and leveled this up. So I'm going to go over and I went and I made a little spreadsheet here to kind of break down all of um, the at least the top five tiers that we have run. Um, and speed farm these things. Now, I do want to note that no person has uh, no person has beat level 15 yet. Level 15 plus yet, okay? This is, um, as of right now, there's only been one person that has gotten, or a group, excuse me, what did I do? A group that has gotten to uh, level 15, and that is Rob and them. Shout out to Rob for getting to at least 15. There's been some people that got to level 14, and that is it. So I kind of want to go over um, the way that I kind of, I, I just, you know, speed run this, and these are my times. We went through each dungeon one through five because these seem to be the most efficient before the damage really, really scales and the bosses get really, really hard. So I'm assuming that most people have not been through tier 10 or they're going to be tier 10 or below okay so as far as like trying to be efficient with your time i'm trying to think about you know back in the diablo 3 days when you're speed farming like gr 90s 95s or 100s just to kind of get through level things up get gear etc because it's all about gear over um how much gear you can attain over the hour in d3 and it's going to be the same thing in diablo 4 is how much exp can we gain per hour to level this thing up now the bonus tip is going to have a much more it's going to be a kind of a sloppy way to do it in a way but it is going to get you a lot of xp super quick but let's first go over the um my times here so tier one took me two minutes and you get a thousand xp that's pretty good uh tier two is 228 for 1100 tier three is 227 so two and a half minutes for 1300 and then we got tier four at just about three minutes for 1500 exp and then we have tier five at 318 or a little bit longer it's more like three and a half minutes this was probably just my best run for 1800 exp okay so if you look at about this like per hour and how much you can actually get it's the the numbers are like comparable here so if we go and look right it's that divided by two is 30 times 1000 that's going to give you 30,000 exp per hour which is pretty good not bad right really really strong super powerful let's go ahead and level this up let's go down to here put those to 12 and again <clears throat> you got two and a half minutes uh 1100 which is 26,400 XP per hour, which really isn't that good. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, which is gonna be that with 1,300, which is 31,000, <clears> which isn't too bad at all, considering how how much like harder each one gets in scales in difficulty. And then we're at tier four at three minutes, which is gonna be like not, not the greatest, I, I probably think that like this is pretty it's three thirty thousand exp per hour which is crazy like the tier four is the same as the tier one and the tier one is considerably easier than the tier four which is kind of nuts right like that's that's kind of insane uh so we're gonna do three point uh three point we're just gonna do it by 3.2 times 1800 so this is gonna be thirty three thousand seven hundred and fifty okay so this is how much exp you would get per hour if you were farming these now when you're looking at these and consider how hard these actually are if you've done up to tier five when you look at the numbers the most efficient one that you can probably do is in, in, in like in like if you're just doing these and you're just spamming them back to back to back would probably be tier five considering how much 
exp you get which is only three thousand more than tier one and a tier four is the same amount as a tier one so really like the extra three thousand to me is not enough to justify doing something that's just that much harder so tier one is probably the best one to do as far as farming per hour which honestly is kind of insane when you really think about it because of how much time it's going to take to get through these now again all of these are these are just like they can be subjective it can't take you longer it could take you you know you could be faster on these consider depending on your build and what you're doing this also doesn't really take into account you know getting specific shrines um within each dungeon or how many shrines that you can get so this is just like an average right this is just an average amount of xp that you can get per hour now as you start to level up your gem or excuse me your gem your glyph and you can really just farm efficiently past tier five you can go to tier six tier seven and not die because the whole key the key here is the key is not dying right you do not want to die if you die you are wasting your time okay because if you're if you're spending three and a half minutes to get through a dungeon then you die that is just a waste of time which really brings down your exp per hour so you do not want to die okay that is a huge 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 thing you do not want this happening do not die okay so after that let's talk about the little bonus tip and i got to give a big shout out to rob over at max roll and his team so the bonus tip is bouncing bouncing or uh joining party joining join teammates party at boss to receive i spelled that wrong to get exp so the bonus tip is going to work like this guys so we had our friend bryce join me so all i'm going to do is just teleport to him this is super easy and this is kind of a way to speed roll if you got a really good coordinated team when you're farming all of the avatar of zero so all i'm going to do is join because he's on the boss right he's going to kill the boss which is super easy you can help if you want but remember you have zero lives so if you die that is it the dungeon is over um, he's got plenty, plenty of time. So all we're going to do is try to just stay out of his way, which is super easy. Just kind of let him kill um, and just make sure that we stay alive. Right. Let's not die. And then once we do this, all we're, we're going to be able to get all of the EXP from uh, from this dungeon without even actually having to complete it. So let's make sure that we're not dead lives remaining so he's actually on the last boss now we're gonna grab protection so that way we can't die now we're gonna go in to help him because we have protection and that's how we just how we roll so we got protection shrine let's try not to die and boom so the faster way to do it is like if he is on the very last boss out of the three he kills the boss and then bam we get the exp that's it you lose this you do this level it up and then all you're gonna do is leave party right it's going to exit you out of the dungeon because you have everything and then you're going to join the next friend in your team or your coordination who's doing this we just go in like boom i'm going to ask to join and we're going to do that rinse and repeat and over and over and over again this is a very 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 fast way to speed roll the amount of exp that you're going to get for your glyph okay now this does take a lot of coordination i definitely would say make sure everybody's on a call whether that's the phone call or um you know discord or something like that or if you're on console get into a party on your respective consoles and that is a really really fun way you just have somebody rotate it through and you can just gain an extremely big amount of exp for your glyph however the bonus tip here is just that it is just a bonus tip it is definitely not the most efficient way of doing things it um it does take a lot of coordination however it is something that you can do to gain a lot of exp so with that said though outside of that um i would say that the most efficient way to farm your exp at least for the first five levels because most people are not to level 10 yet or higher is to do tier one just because the only reason i say the tier one over the tier three or the tier four 
is because of the how easy it is. You're gonna be able to steamroll this with pretty much any build that you are playing and you shouldn't have any issues, especially with the bosses. So you do not have to fear the point of dying. You do not wanna die because you will waste so much time doing this. Now, once you've gained a lot of EXP for your glyphs and you're able to go above tier five, going to tier 10, I will have a another following table just kind of help and we will extend this up to tier 10, et cetera, as we're continuing to level guys. So with that said, <clears throat> go out form tier one definitely push and see how high you can go before you die but as far as exp per hour i would probably do tier one <clears throat> or tier three because after we get to tier three tier four and tier tier five definitely seem to be a lot harder so with that said guys like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think about all of this don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming i will see you guys in the next one peace